Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of NS Web Apps and in this video I'm going to show you how we can use the toggle class feature of jQuery to be toggling a class on and off. Okay, So we're going to be using this form element here to toggle this for my form class. So um, let's go back to our browser, refresh. So let's look at the form element inside our inspector here. So it has a class of my form. So we'll go back to the browser here. So in the console, and we just use the selector here so we say my form and we'll say the toggle class actually let's not use my form let's use form okay and we'll say toggle class because uh, if we just toggle the class we can't select it using my form anymore okay so we'll use the element selector so what class do we want to toggle is my form so when i press enter now when we go back to the um selection here on the elements tab um, we'll see that the class no longer exists on the form because we have toggled the form um, class off. So now when I call that same function again and pass it my form, say toggle class. Now let's go back to the elements tab here and as you can see now the form has the class my form. Okay, so that's how you use the toggle class function in jQuery. Right, so you can use this to toggle many classes at once. So now you just don't only have to um, pass in only one class to toggle, you can pass in many classes. So let's just say selected, okay? When I press enter, now um, as you can see, the my form class has gone and the selected um, class is being toggled on. And now when I call the same function again, it will be reversed, that my form will be um, on and selected will be off, right? So basically just figure out what's happening here. It's not interchanging these two, it's just toggling one on and off um, based on how you call them so it's like an on and off switch so it's not a replacement um, for the one class for another so you can actually pass in three classes so let's say some other class so if some other class exists it's going to turn it off if selected exists it's going to turn it off if my form exists it's going to turn it off if they don't exist it's going to turn them on okay so they are acting independently now when i call it as you can see selected and some other classes there all right so that's how you use that um, toggle class function of jquery and i thank you for watching i will see you soon in the next video cheers bye bye